I got no money to invest, part 4. So I decided to make an extra video for you guys as a bonus because what happened last week was that one of my clients uh, was supposed to use her money in EPF for me to help her to do EPF optimization but she needed to go to the branch to get the EPF statement. This is an additional bonus because did you know that you don't have to go to the branch to get an EPF statement. You basically can just give EPF a call to get uh, the verification code and you can basically go to iAccount and register and get this statement. So why am I telling you this is because this is an additional uh, misconception which I've heard that a lot of people say hey I got no money to invest in fact what we've seen is that a lot of people up to 60 to 70 percent of their assets are tied to the EPF so but of course you need to know how to do it and over here I'm going to share with you two ways of how you can invest your money in EPF one is doing it your own learn, which is a DIY method right but we don't really recommend you to do DIY unless you really know what you're doing uh, but of course it has its pros and cons the other way will be what we call an assistant similar to what uh, I'm helping my clients to do which we are helping them to do the EPF optimization so of course it's not only me that I can do it uh, basically there are different people like financial advisors uh, unit trust agent could help as well but definitely you need to understand the pro and cons of doing that right so uh, strongly suggest you to look into it but most importantly is this question you need to ask yourself should I be taking money from my EPF to invest perhaps I will make another video to answer the question right then just leave me a comment uh, and tell me what you think right uh, and I will leave whatever resources at the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the